Are you still unsure how to model this modern bookshelf? Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial here on the Nice Tower channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating this modern bookshelf. Before we start, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Now let's jump in. So first, use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here by 40 centimeter, comma 150. Now use line tool and draw a line from the midpoint right here up to here, this corner, like this. Now use arc tool and draw an arc from this point up to here. That's enough. Now select the curve use rotate tool and take from here and rotate it press ctrl to take a copy rotate it by 180 angle like this now here we have a problem let me fix that draw a line here and delete this line and also delete these lines too and also here now select this curve and use move tool take a copy up to here 19.5 up to here like this now the look here too and also we have additional line here let me delete that too so now use push pull tool and extrude it by two centimeter select all make it group and now use fredo scale plugin you can find this plugin on our website nicestars.com or nicestarpro.com so with the last option right here click on it and choose one point right here and up to here click here and again now bend it by 100 angle like this so let me move it here as you see we have some additional lines right here let me hide them go to inside of the group use erase tool hold the alt key and erase the additional lines and also here too don't forget to hold the alt key and then erase additional lines use arc tool and draw an arc right here because we need center of this curve use line tool let me use line tool and draw a guideline right here and let me delete this curve now we have center of this curve use circle tool and draw circle right here like this and let me use push pull tool again and extrude the surface by four centimeter make it group and take another copy of that 
press control by five centimeter we have a distance between them let me make it a leg right here one centimeter like this move it up so now let's take a copy of this one use rotate tool again we need center of the circle let me find it that's here select this shape and use rotate tool now take a copy of that press ctrl to take a copy by 180 angle like this so now let's create the shelves take a copy of this circle go out from the group now use paste in place go to file go to edit menu and use paste in place and take an offset by two centimeter delete this edge and use line tool draw a line from this corner up to here and also once here from here up to here like this let me delete these curves and extrude these shelves by two centimeters select all make it component click on create now again use move tool move it down up to here and again move it up take a copy of that up to here now divide it by four like this and select this one and use move tools by move tools we can rotate it like this and also this one too rotate one by one like this and also this one like this and let me delete this one because we don't need it now select all and make them single group now let's put a material on it default tray this wood material and also this one too now let me use some object so we need a line from the center of the circle again use dbs move rotate plugin now select that shape you want to rotate that with dbs move rotate plugin click on this option so i think we need hinge option for this model and in here you can determine time of animation then click on this option 
and you can rotate that for example by 180 angle right click on it and find dbs move rotate and click on set as close now with this option you can rotate that like this it's so easy as you can see our work is done i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends